What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. I was just getting myself already, getting my hunger and thirst and all that kind of good stuff all set to where it needs to be. Now, I spent a little bit of time doing some exploring, and while I did so, I also did some playing around with the base. I really haven't done a whole heck of a lot other than what you see right here. I just parked the submarine and did a couple of things, added some levels and things like that, just to make it a little bit bigger. And from what I understood, having the foundations added to our overall hull strength, so I figured that would be a good thing. But here is what I would like to do today. Oh, and also, I was just messing around and I made one of these wall lockers. Never seen one before, and they're actually really cool. If you uh, click on that, you can name the lockers you can actually put a label on them but the uh the only drawback to them is they do have a little bit less storage than the other lockers whoops damn already with the wrong button they got less storage but i like them i think they look a lot better wow why do i feel like i'm rocking back and forth huh that's weird i guess i never noticed that in the movement before <laughs> all right so this is what i want to do I want to power this beast up because this is going to be our little base of operations right here. I want to get a fabricator up on the wall and things like that. Let's see. I think I have the blueprints. Yes. Um, I got the blueprints for the solar panel. And all I need to do is get some quartz. And I don't even know what I have. So let's find out. So here's my locker. Oop. I hope that didn't empty it. Okay. Whew. All right, so I have no quartz. All right, I gotta put that thing away. There we go. Let's go get some quartz. I'm gonna try to make a couple of these things. So, I already forgot what I need. Titanium and quartz. I've got plenty of titanium. So let's grab some quartz and see what we can do here. So now I'm not going to find quartz. That'd be my luck, wouldn't it? Right, there we go. But I think once we have the base powered, then I'm going to start venturing a little further from home and start getting our blueprints that we need. I'd like to get the... Uh, the Cyclops, and oh, well, there's all sorts of stuff that I want to get, so I guess it's going to take a minute to uh, to find this quartz, huh? I figured, uh, I figured we'd find it right off the bat. Oh, well, I guess we're going to be doing a little bit more exploring. What does my inventory look like? Okay, so what is this guy? Hey, where's all the stinking quartz? Are you kidding me? Okay, you guys stay away from me. I just want to see what this is. That's all. And uh, just a SEMA. Where the heck is all the quartz at? I guess we'll grab salt and stuff while I see it, but man, I wasn't expecting to actually have to go on a hunt for this stuff right now. That's crazy. Well, there's another fragment. Let's go see what this fella is. Might even be worth just to take the submarine out. Ooh, there we go. Seamoth upgrade. Yeah, I saw a couple more fragments down here, so let's grab these while we're here. There's an Okay, so we got one there and one there. See some ores and stuff too. I'm just gonna leave the ore for right now. Another upgrade console fragment. So we've already got that. All that's gonna do is give us more titanium. All right, well, we're walking out of here with a lot of titanium apparently. I can't find any quartz because that's all I need to get us to the next level here. 
I've only seen one piece since I came out. There's one. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go out in the Morning. sub the next time. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay then, I guess I'll head up. Ah, I see another one hiding down there. There we go. Finally finding some. Come here, you. Want to grab you guys? Come, damn it. That's why I have my aquarium, so they're easier to catch. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. I finally found some quartz. So let's make a... Let's make these solar panels and get this base powered up. I'm not even sure what to do after I get the base powered up. I'm just excited about that. Alright, let's see. I've never made anything for uh, power before. So from what I understand, now what I was doing, I kind of... I wasn't cheating, but my son was playing this game while I was editing some other videos from a different series, and so I was kind of watching over his shoulder as he was playing. If I was paying attention correctly, I thought that this worked, but I wasn't sure. Okay, so I'm going to try putting this here. And hey, there we go, it did work. Awesome! Power restored. All primary systems online. Oh, very nice. Can I make another one of you? Yes, I can. I'm gonna make another one and put it right here. Beautiful. All right, let's go check this out, see what our power is doing here. So we're at 13 out of 100 now, and it, and slowly climbing. So now we need to get a fabricator made and some of the other stuff. And Now we just need to get a fabricator made and some of the other stuff, and we'll be good to go. So what do we need for that? Fabricator, just two titanium. Sweet. Okay, and that can go anywhere, it looks like. I guess we'll put it off to the side so we can make some room for some other stuff. Oh, that's so cool. Awesome. Now we're getting somewhere. I think another thing that I want to do... Now, I don't know if it's possible. Let me know if this is something that you can do in this game or not. Can you... Is there like a button you can push to check your hull integrity because I don't know what it's at right now so I'm probably going to end up just making random reinforcements that I might that I may or may not need because I don't know what my hull strength is at right now all right this is cool okay we've got nothing up here couldn't remember if I had any lockers hiding up here or not We need to get some lockers in here now. What do we have in here? Got no titanium. But I can make some. Oh, that's so satisfying after doing this with your own your own base with your own power. Alright, now I already forgot what I was gonna do. Oh, a locker. Jeez. I have the attention span of a puppy. Now I think because I'm just going to try to sock this full of titanium and other stuff, I'm going to make the big floor locker. Let's see, where can we put you? That'll work. And then I'll turn this into like a little personal locker, just miscellaneous stuff. There we go. And I made some extra batteries so I can make some power cells because from what I understand that's what we need to power our submarine so let me get uh, a couple of power cells made now one thing with those solar panels is you can see that we're not generating any power right now it's nighttime 
Oh, that's right. I need silicone. Creep vine seed clusters. That I believe I can do. I think we have some of those. Yes, we do. I don't know if you have to have your knife for this, but... Yeah, I think it's three. No, it's just two. Oop, wrong button. Okay, I just want to have that kind of on standby. Just in case. I don't want to get stranded while we're in the sub. So I guess these other ones... See, I'm gonna... Oop. Hold on. Whoop. I guess we'll change the name of that right now since I hit the wrong button again. We're going to call that one. Uh, it won't let me do it. I usually call my extra stuff miscellaneous debris. I'm just going to call it debris. Let's get all the titanium out of here and switch it out with the other stuff right now. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna hold on to a battery for my flashlight. Let's see what else do we want to put in here. I guess we'll put the salt and quartz in there. There we go. Try to get a little bit organized. So I always make the mistake of organizing myself later in the game. Oop, man. Um. So I end up having to move too much stuff around. So I'm gonna try not to do that this time. Alright, so our power is down to 24, so I better stop uh, making things. Let's grab some water. So one thing that I've been wanting to do, now, especially now that it's getting to be daytime again, is I want to get a welder. And I think that is what we need to get our crash pod going up and running again, if I remember right. I'm going to double check that just to be sure so we're not doing something we don't need to be doing. Where is the welder? So magnesium, crash powder, and titanium. Now I think the magnesium, you make that with salt. Yes, yeah, so three salt deposits and the crash powder. Now I've never gotten crash powder before, but I do know where to get it. So let's... Welcome aboard, Captain. Why, thank you, my lady. I remember seeing these flowers someplace, but I cannot remember where. It was in some kind of a little cave cavern looking thing. Ah, is that it? Yes, that is it. Okay, I've never done this before. I think it's gonna shoot something at me. And then we wanna... Ah! Is it gonna kill me? Woo! I probably should have done that while I was in the sub. Speaking of that, where'd you go? Oh, there you are, okay. I don't know if I'm going to get close enough for that one to shoot at me or not. I hope not. Oh, left click. Oh, beautiful. Uh-oh. He's coming. No! Oh, it sounded like he was. Thought about it. Okay, where the heck am I? I'm like all over the place. Jeez, there we go. Okay, let's get back and make the welder. And we'll see what that thing does. I think, I'm hoping that I'm remembering that right. That the welder is what we need to get everything going. Where's my door? Alright, we're back up to full power now because it's daytime. So that's cool. Oh, I need salt. I think I put my salt away. Oh, let's see. I'm 
And it was three salt that I needed. Awesome. Magnesium. Okay, titanium. Oh, of course. Oh, what just happened there? Whoa! I think uh, my little uh, iPad glitched out. Oh, there we go. That was wild. <laughs> Didn't even look to see how much titanium. Oh, God dang it. How much titanium I actually need. Tools. There we go. My first welder. All right, let's go see if we can fix this pod now. I might be completely wrong that this is what we need for that. But I guess we'll find out, won't we? Okay, and I also wanted the welder just in case I do implode my, my base that I have some, some way to fix it. All right, use welder to repair. Yes. Awesome. So what is this going to do? Oh, wow. Should have done that a long time ago. What else is broken? I think this thing. Whoa. I have no idea what she said. Emergency distress signal? I'm not sure. You know what this welder reminds me of? A new mission has arrived. Uh, this welder reminds me in the, the movie Alien, I think it is, uh, when they inject medicine. Alright, so let's try this out. This is an automated bounce back from the Aurora mining vessel. Your distress signal has been received. An emergency relief team will be dispatched to your location. The estimated arrival time, nine, 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 nine hours. So did she glitch out or is it gonna be like 10,000 hours or however long that would end up being? You've been down too long in the midnight sea. Oh, don't you see what I mean? Ooh. What is that, a song or something? This is an automated distress signal from an old life of 17. Coordinates attached. Please send immediate emergency relief team. Coordinates attached? Pod 17? What pod are we? Don't these little things have numbers on them somewhere? Yeah, we're only... Yeah, we're pod 5, so we have another pod out there? Hey, my little, uh... Vehicle thing is way over there. So we have another pod out there. That's cool. I wonder how we access that. This is Second Officer Keen broadcasting to all surviving Aurora crew. Captain Hollister is gone. I have assumed command. The computer has identified dry land approximately 750 meters south of the crash site. Your orders are to stay together, ensure your immediate safety, and then regroup at the attached coordinates. Good luck. Over and out. 750 meters south of the crash site. Well, that's cool. So I wonder how we get the uh, coordinates for the... Uh, is that just going to replay it? Probably. This is an automated distress signal from an old yeah. life of 17. Coordinates attached. Please send immediate emergency relief team. Coordinates are attached to what? Alright, well... At least we got everything going again. That's pretty cool. I think we're going to wrap it up for this episode right there. We got uh, power to the base. We got our welder. We got something poking out and looking at us over there. I have no idea what that is. We're going to have to go explore. Which is exactly what we're going to do next episode. We're going to do a bunch of exploring. I'm going to get that power cell. Uh, oh, actually, I have the power cell on me. We're going to take the submarine out for a spin. We're going to get some more blueprints and 
start getting into some of the depths here. Maybe we'll try to find that island. That'd be kind of cool. And so as always, I appreciate everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave me a like. I appreciate that as well. And when I see you next time, we'll go do some exploring in this bad boy right here. So I will see you next time. Welcome aboard, Captain.